<laughs> Hello everyone, this is John here with Intrigue Gaming and today I'm going to show you five eShop games that are under $15 for the month of June. So stick tight and enjoy. Kuyo Blasters is a side-scrolling shoot-em-up, or some might say even a cute em up Developed by Team Robot Black Hat and published by Forever Entertainment, this game was released onto Nintendo Switch's eShop on June 27, 2019 for $9.99. Kuyo Blasters can be played with a friend in couch co-op or in single-player mode. After a cataclysmic event, you are tasked with saving the world from destruction. You select one of three teams, each have their own unique abilities and bombs, and five different characters to choose from from each team. This pixel art game takes you on an adventure through 10 different stages with a boss battle at the end. If you are successful in eliminating the boss before you embark on your next bullet filled thrill ride, you pick between a selection of perks, essentially leveling up your character as you progress. I've had a lot of fun playing this game. Its art style is well done, and it has the action I crave with huge boss battles with their own quirkiness. Unfortunately, it does have some shortcomings, but that is uncommon for an indie game at this price point. The levels are a bit shorter than I would like, and the story suffers from what looks to be bad translations, but the base mechanics of the game are solid, making it a blast to play, and at only $10, I recommend Kuyo Blasters as a must-get. Furwind is a pixel art adventure platformer. It was developed by Boomfire Games and published to the Nintendo Switch's eShop on June 27th by Jandusoft for $9.99. Furwind is a single player adventure platformer done in a 16-bit graphics art style. You play as a fox named Furwind in a battle to save Moontail, your home world, from an evil darkness that's enveloping it. You make your way through each of the three chapters of the game, exploring beautiful pixel art stages, collecting gems, defeating bosses, rescuing villagers, completing challenges, all while earning upgrades as the story progresses. Wow, a well put together soundtrack plays in the background. This game starts out easy enough, but will soon challenge your skills. You must learn the levels to be able to find all the gems and hidden items on each stage. The bosses seem to lack when it comes to different patterns of attack, but still exhibit a challenge to beat them. I had a great time playing this, even though some parts made me rage. Priced at $10, I highly recommend downloading it and giving it a go yourself. Legend of Tetrarchs is a 16-bit style RPG with turn-based battles. It was developed by XE Create Inc. and published to the Nintendo eShop on June 6, 2019 by Kemco for $14.99. You command encounters with up to 10 allies in a story for the ages. After a holy sword that's keeping dark forces sealed away has been removed, you're faced with restoring balance between dark and light. The darkness has been unleashed, creeping into the world, mutating almost everything into monsters. You must band together with the four tetrarchs to defeat the evil and bring peace back to the world. As you go along in your adventure, you explore the world, finding treasures, fighting a plethora of monsters, and fantasy star-inspired random encounters, all while leveling up, learning new skills, and getting items to craft and improve your party's gear. If you like 16-bit like RPGs that have turn-based battles, this is another one for you that you're sure to enjoy. I've been grinding away at this game, enjoying its cheeky dialogue and fun battle mechanics. At $15, you owe yourself to pick this up. It does have some DLC, but I don't recommend wasting your money on it as it's geared towards not having to grind as much instead of expanding the story or character roster, which is unfortunate. Citizens of Space is a cell shaded RPG with turn-based action command battles. It was developed by Eden Industries and published by Sega onto the eShop on June 18, 2019 for $14.99. The Earth has gone missing and it's up to you, the ambassador of Earth, to solve the mystery and find out where or what has happened to your home planet. You assemble a team of quirky characters to help you battle your way across the universe in search of clues to the disappearance of Earth. Each character has its strengths and weaknesses and is key to use them to your advantage when taking on your foes. 
Citizens of Space is full of funny dialogue and really fun action command battles that keep the encounters from getting stale and boring. With a price of $15, you would be hard pressed to find another game of this quality in the same genre. If you enjoyed the Mario and Luigi series of games, or even the latest South Park RPGs, this game is for you. I love this kind of RPG and I'm happy to have it in my digital collection. Epic Astro Story is a strategy sim game developed and published by Carasoft, released to the Nintendo Switch's eShop on June 27, 2019 for $12. In this SimCity type of game, you are tasked with colonizing a planet, all while managing your resources, attracting new colonists and tourists, exploring different areas to unlock new parts of the map, researching new tech, and engaging in intergalactic diplomacy. As your city grows, you unlock more building, research, and manufacturing options, thriving to have a strong economy, tourism, the best tech, while protecting your citizens from some not-so-friendly aliens. If you like city-building games like SimCity or Caesar, you will enjoy this game. If you are into the Fallout Shelter games, it has some similar aspects when exploring new areas. I was pleasantly surprised by how much fun this game is. Carasoft did a really good job making this game addicting, to say the least, and at $12, I got my money's worth for sure. Okay, that concludes June's edition of 5 eShop games you must get that are under $15. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please like, share, comment, and or subscribe, and I'll see ya.